Hi, um, my name is Ben. Um, I guess I'm a regular down at the community garden on a Sunday morning. Yeah, today we're sitting here just in front of the banana circle, which is um, probably my favourite part of the, the garden. I was one of the one of the members here that dug this, and we planted all these bananas probably three, three, three to four years ago now. So um, just seeing the fruits of our labour coming on now, um, it's really exciting. And yeah, the garden is the garden is really alive at the moment, so it's, it's an exciting time. So a lot of people might think, oh, it's, it's quite unsightly. You see all these dead leaves falling down and, and whatnot, but what you can do with those, you can cut them off, throw them back into the compost pile underneath, and as that breaks down, that feeds all the microbes in the soil, and that feeds the plant. You can use the, um, you can use the banana leaves to wrap up food as well. So if, you, if you're not in Australia so much, but if you're in, in uh, other parts of the subtropics, they'll cook in the ground, and then they'll wrap use the banana leaves to wrap the food. Um, and it's an attractive plant. Look at it, big glossy green leaves. It's not, a, it's not an ugly plant. It's amazing, there's, there's more bananas hanging on the little one over here. Large bunch of bananas hanging here, so it's really nice to see the fruit coming on. And then they're easily transplantable, so you can, um, you can cut them out, cut them off with a shovel. Um, and then they're, they're very hardy plants, so you can transplant them quite easily. And they're very adaptable, so they'll grow pretty much anywhere. Because we have not just one tree growing, but we have underplantings of arrowroot, which is this one over here with the bright green leaves. We have lemongrass. Over the back there we have um, cassava, which is grown in subtropic regions all around the world. Very useful plant. So all the plants that you see growing underneath, um, Brazilian spinach is another one. Brazilian spinach, you can eat that. Throw it on your breakfast. Really nutritious plant as well. Um, so it's not just about the bananas, it's about underplanting that and, that, and that also creates habitat. Habitat for lizards, insects to come in. They've got this huge area. Um, that can free drain. So where ours is located, there's a little bit of drainage here. So in, in the wet season or when the, when the sprinklers are on, the water will actually drain through here and filter in into the soil here and feed these plants. So obviously picking a site is uh, very important. And when you dig, when you dig down, you want to you create a, um, just a shallow pit of about one metre to 1.5 metres in depth and across about two metres to three metres in, uh, in diameter. All of, the, all of the earth and the soil that you take out, you mound that up on the outside. So where all these smaller plants are, that's where the soil has come from the hole in the middle. So you mound that soil up, you add as much compost as you can. You can put newspaper, cardboard, um, obviously the leaves, the leaves, the branches of all the, um, the other plants around. So anything can go in there, anything that was once living, just don't put meat, Don't put, never put meat or bones in compost, it'll stink. But you can put all your green waste into the middle there and that'll break down and that'll feed, your, um, feed all your plants. So I mean there's plenty of plants here that, um, that are beneficial not only for your health but for your family and very simple to grow, very easy. Banana circle, you could, doesn't have to be this big either, you could plant one you know, only a metre across and still grow one or two or three banana, banana trees with all this stuff underneath. If you can get a, if you can get a good cutting of a, uh, of a banana tree and, and plant that, fingers crossed, if you look after it well and you mulch it and give it some love, it, <laughs> it will grow and uh, look at it now, I mean four years later, it's, it's really exciting to see all the fruit coming on now, so yeah, everyone's stoked. <laughs>